engine who works on Sodor. He is a modified LMYR class with the front bogey truck. And he's unlike his brothers. And he is one of the only red tender engines on Sodor. Sure, there may be red engines, like Scarlowia Reneas, but overall, not many red standard gauge engines. I mean, Harvey's just like maroon. Anyway, James is the, the only one of the only red engines that has a tender on Sodor. Many engines know him as James, and they don't see any others around. But that like all him. changed one time at 12.45. James was shunting trucks, and he despised it. He biffed and bashed the trucks right wildly until he, they finally derailed. But his front two wheels derailed, and by two I mean the the the, the both pairs. Damn! Well, James, this is what happens when you act like an idiot. Oh, be quiet! Unfortunately, help wouldn't be around until it was dark. Finally, Bear arrived at a very late time. Finally, you're here. Oh, be quiet, James. Nobody cares, but. But as the he was Rocky was putting the last truck on the rails, they heard a mighty whistle that sounded like it's one of James's. Was that you, James? Does it look like it was me? Suddenly there was a, a hump and a puffing sound. Suddenly a whoosh of steam came as a red engine rushed by. Goodness me, what was that? I don't know, but I think that was a red engine with a tender like you. A tender like me? This is impossible. But how? 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 <laughs> the engines were talking about it the next morning when James arrived. James, is this true? There was another red engine that looked like you. No. Well, maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, actually. Well, I'm sure I was next to it when that engine just blew steam right into my face. I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, it doesn't belong on Sodor. Silence fell. It was so strange. I was like... Hearing, it was like hearing myself. Do you think this could be not a not like a ghost, but like an inner demon that happened in James a long time ago? You know, like Francis Leniog. We never talk about Francis Leniog ever again. Oh, sorry. But I'll give you a point. You could be right about that. What about using wax paper on the tracks? Do you think? If we put wax paper on the track, it could stop him and we could find out who he was. That's a smart idea, Thomas, but I highly doubt wax paper will work. I mean, give, given the taking of how much wax paper costs and how much we would need, and we don't even know the location of where he is, Harold is high above, and he has seen him. I Yeah, I, I, Harold told me he saw a red engine this morning. He was puffing down the tracks, but not where. Silence fell again. That all the engines went to work. We, that night it was it was very late, and James couldn't continue on. So surprisingly, he. Went into a yard. He was too tired to complain about a yard. It was all he had for the night that night. With that, he went to sleep. Suddenly, he heard a loud 
whistle. That sounds like that mystery engine. Suddenly, a red engine whooshed by. Driver, steam! Do you mind? I'm trying to sleep. Who are you? Oh, uh, no one, just somebody. Goodbye. That was extremely weird. Amy surprisingly saw Harold sitting in a field near a station. Harold! Oh, hello, James. What are you doing out at this time of night? Uh, did you see a red engine fly by? Oh, yes, 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 indeed, I did. Yes, yes. Great. Which way did he go? I believe it was uh, towards that way, towards Marin. Yes, yes, I believe so. It was towards Marin. Great. Thank you, Harold. Oh, uh, you're welcome, James. Goodbye. Back to sleep. Yes, yes. I finally found a shed. Hello? Go away. You do not want to know the truth. Please, tell me. Just tell me, who are you? Everyone thinks you're me. Perhaps I'll give you a clue. Oh, yes, please. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. He went into a tunnel, squeaked through his funnel, and never came out again. The passengers pushed, and the passengers pulled, and a red engine even came to help. He was old and wise. He was powerful and strong, yet he was sent away. No. No, it can't be. You know what? Open the doors. It's already too late. The doors were flung wide. There came the biggest shock in James's life. I know you, James the Red Engine. Winston!